Hello Nigerians, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Well, it's no longer news that Kiss Daniel has been trending on in Tanzania after he was absent in a show that he was paid for. You know, the uh, story actually generated a lot of controversies and misreactions and accusations upon accusations online. You know, when the incident initially broke out, it was alleged that Kiss Daniel uh, refused to perform in the show because of because his chain necklace was not brought along uh, what was omitted in one of his luggage, you know. That was the initial allegation that was made by the show promoter whose name is Mr. Steven. You know, the issue went viral and uh, Mr. Steven, Mr. Steven, who is the uh, show promoter that invited uh, Kiss Daniel, actually got Kiss Daniel arrested uh, a few minutes or a few hours after the show uh, ended. And, you know, within the, during the show, the people that paid for the tickets to see Kiss Daniel, you know, they were angry because Kiss Daniel didn't show up and they started destroying a lot of uh, things within the show, you know, started throwing bottles and all all, all that within the uh, event center and this made the show promoter in the person of mr steven to be angry and he went further to arrest like his daniel for damages or for actually breaching the alleged contract that he had with him and you know when the police arrested when the police in tanzania arrested the uh, kids daniel the thing went viral and a lot of people started uh, criticizing kids daniel for not actually attending the show without even hearing his own part of the story you know uh, but actually he was taking him for some interrogation and from uh, for some uh, clarifications so a few minutes or a few hours after he was arrested, he was equally released and he proceeded to uh, Nigeria for some certain things while his legal team in Tanzania went to actually uh, settle or sort out the case. Well, for that investigation made by one of uh, the journalists who have been Nigeria, the person of that, if, that the freeze, revealed that his Daniel intentionally did not uh, 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 neglect the show, rather because of some certain technical issues made him not to... Uh, uh, be available for the show you know according to some reports uh, and according to what he said uh, his manager which is his brother he said that kiss daniel was wasn't able to make the show because the payment were, were not made fully you know uh, according to the uh, per, according to his uh, brother that kiss daniel wasn't paid fully for the show and some other technical issues that made his brother being kiss daniel are uh, unavailable for the show so he clarified everything and in order to uh, bring down the whole tension and the wave and the uh, anger of some of the Tanzanian fans, he's then had to promise them a free show on Saturday, on Friday, sorry, being the 12th day of August 2022, you know, in order to amend or try to make up uh, for missing that particular show, you know, try to uh, regain back their trust and their and their uh, uh, fame and their trust. So Kizdani actually fixed a, uh, a program on Friday and he actually went for the program and it was a massive one, you know. People thought that for the show, people people, people were so excited to see Kizdani, especially when he performed the popular Buga song that has been trending on so many uh, platforms within and outside Africa. You know, people were so excited. You could see how people were shouting, screaming and videoing him because he is a loved person. He's a wonderful artist and a celebrity that has a powerful stage character. You know, when Kizdani is on the stage, a lot of people love the way he dances, the way he sings, and the way he composes uh, himself. So everything probably has been settled now, and uh, it seems uh, both the show promoter, Mr. Steven and Kiz Daniel, and his crew has reconciled and sort and they have sorted out every of uh, their problems and uh, controversies they had a few days ago. It you know it's something nice to see them reuniting and seeing Kiz Daniel man up to his own responsibility. You know, in, instead of taking it the wrong way and uh, everything, he promised free show for this particular Tanzania fans that paid ticket and. They were disappointed as the case might be on that particular day. He's then thought it wise and actually fixed the show for them on Friday. And he imputed a lot of energy into this show to make it uh, a kind of uh, make up uh, uh, apology for the fans. And he, you know, made a lot of uh, fans happy and very excited on that particular day of the show. Well, you could see from the video strength and everything how the fans we are so joyful and happy that Kiss Daniel has made them proud once again. So kudos to, to, kids, to Kiss Daniel for actually uh, uh, accepting this particular mistake and trying to find a possible and a feasible solution to it which he actually did and i believe by now he has regained the trust he has with his fans and a lot of brands will actually trust him and still invite him for shows and for some concerts and the uh, show promoter on his own part he has actually redeemed in his, na his name in the sense that he has actually fulfilled the promise he made to the tanzania fans about kids that are coming to perform for the show but it's actually important for people not to rush into conclusions whenever there are controversies online especially it's always important to hear from the both sides of the story you know initially people started criticizing Kiz Daniel for not actually attending the show without hearing his own part of the story until he uh, was granted an interview and he explained why he didn't uh, 
uh, attend the show, which the show promoter in the person of uh, Mr. T.C. Steven confirmed that actually confirmed that he his daughter wasn't paid fully his complete uh, money even before the show. But I believe everything has been sorted that his daughter has performed and many people are now happy. Many people are now happy with him for everything that he has done. And so uh, I believe Kis Daniel should be proceeding back to Nigeria to uh, uh, return back to his normal life. You know, it has been really a hectic week for Kis Daniel. You know, it's been a troublesome week for him. But I thank God that he actually overcome uh, all these particular temptations and trials and he has bounced back. Uh, arguably, Kis Daniel is one of the uh, brilliant and um, perfect artists of uh, uh, musicians we have, not just in Nigeria, but in Africa. I believe one day, he will actually uh, win the Grammy Award, in the, uh, in the, uh, such as uh, the likes of Whiskey and the Bonner Boy and all that. I believe he has the talent, he has the gift, he has everything it takes to win the, the Grammy Award. So uh, kudos to Kiz to Kiz Daniel for performing in Tanzania and regaining their trust, and uh, to his uh, crew members for actually pu pulling this thing off and putting it in a very uh, uh, a diplomatic way, I say uh, kudos to them. They really did well and they really did noble. Well, I would like you guys to make use of the comment section and tell me what you think about Kiz Daniel's actions and how he handled this case and how he, he paid the, the fans of Tanzania in a very kind way by fixing a free show for them. And uh, what do you think and uh, what possible advice we give to Kiz Daniel ahead of his career and everything? Well, in case you've not subscribed to my channel, just do well to click on the notification button and the subscription button to be getting more information and update.